Hi guys, my name is Lilia Buckingham. I'm here at Famous Birthdays and I'm going to be explaining the story behind some of my iconic Instagram pictures. Alright, so this photo right here was with Austin Brown. We were in Oregon and we were shooting something and in, I don't really know if I'm allowed to say what we were shooting, but it was very cold, very chilly and we were supposed to be like kind of exploring and so we'd been filming in this car all day and then we got to this field and we were just like let's go so we went and jumped out of the car and their amazing photographer got it on photo so here it is that's the story <laughs> so <laughs> that was my screen this is this was my screensaver for a little while um my beautiful friend emily skinner we were at kenzie's makeup launch and it was in melrose it was in Melrose, it was on Melrose, and then we were walking back to the car, and then we came across this dumpster that said, I'm kind of a big deal, and we both just thought it was so ironic, because like, that is the definition of LA. People being like, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, and so we thought it was so funny, we had to take a photo of it, and I still love that picture. Both of us in like, our hair and makeup, and we're like, it's on this side, kind of a big deal. This is one of my best friends, Millie Bobby Brown. She's amazing. She had a couple of days off filming and I was in Atlanta with her. And so we went and uh, just like went on this lake and went on this boat and it was the most amazing experience. We had so much fun. We just like danced on the boat and we got to ride in tubes and oh, it was amazing. I would love to go back, except it was kind of creepy because we, their parents had just been watching Ozark. And if you haven't seen it, it's like, kind of takes place right by a lake and it looked exactly like where we were staying. I was like, I'm about to get murdered. But that didn't happen, obviously, because I'm right here, so. <laughs> oh, okay, this is one of my favorite pictures. My mom took it, thanks mommy. Um, it was for the Saturn magazine shoot and we were shooting at this kind of apartment complex. It looked like a, like a Barbie house and there were different themed colored rooms and stuff and they put me, the stylist was incredible and I got to wear this ball gown and I was like, I feel like a real life princess. And then my mom was like, look over here. And whenever my mom tells me to like smile for pictures, I'm always like, mom. But in this case, it turned out to be a good photo. So that's the story. So this is one of my other amazing best friends, Maddie Ziegler, and our friend Cameron, he's from Australia. And my mom had bought me this like really soft robe thing from Little Draft because I had bought a sweatshirt, sweatshirt sweater from there and it was super soft. And so she was like, I'm gonna buy you a robe. And so we bought it and I was wearing it one day and Maddie was like, what are you wearing? You look like a wizard. And I was like, I'll buy you one. So I bought them both one and we put them on we were like we look like wizards and then there was a broom nearby and then we picked it up and we were like oh my god like it's a broomstick and so we all had like our swiffers and our brooms and we were like we're wizards and that was the and also it was super super hot that day so we walked outside in like these giant like furry things i was like i think i'm gonna pass out but we we had to do it for the instagram oh okay and so this photo i my mom had just bought me a ring light I was like, thank you so much. And I was like, well, I really want to use the ring light. But I have, I had already done like my entire night skin routine and I had like pimple cream on everywhere. And I was like, you know what? This is just showing who you are and like not trying to hide normal things that we do. So I used my amazing ring light and I took a selfie with my awesome pimple cream on. And thank you so much, Mario Badesco. Saved my skin. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> This was Halloween time. This is also Millie again, and we were um, my that's my, and also my nanny Gabby, who's literally like my big sister. She was going to a Halloween party that night, and she needed to like decorate her costume with um, like ha like bloody handprints. And she was like, "So I don't really want to get my hands dirty. Do you guys mind dipping your hands in paint and then putting them all over my Halloween costume?" And we were like. Sure, why not? And so that's what this photo is right here. Um, our hands are like covered in red paint and we like couldn't get it off for the longest time, but we had the, so much fun. Afterwards, we were like hitting each other with the paint. It was really funny. <laughs> oh my God, this was the best. Okay, so we were shopping and um, we came across the, or my mom did. My mom loves dogs, like more than anything. I think she loves them more than she loves me. And uh, we were basically in a store and these two baby golden retrievers came up to us and we were like, oh my god, oh my god, like what? And the, the owners were super nice. They were like, do you want to hold them? And we were like, yes, yes, please. 
And so we held them for like six hours and I like wanted to steal the dog a little bit. And you can see in that photo how happy I am. Like my smile is just so wide. I was like, this is the happiest I think I've ever been. And yeah, that is the story behind this amazing photo. It's literally one of my favorite photos. Oh, okay, so this photo was taken in Greece, one of my favorite trips I've ever taken. I took it with one of my best friends, Charlotte, and um, we had this amazing hotel room. It was beautiful, and our outside, we had this all-white pool. It was, it was surreal, and we went to go get in the hot tub, and it was like negative six degrees. It was so, so cold, and we were like, oh, okay, but then I was like, this has to be, like, I have to take a really cool photo, and so, my friend Charlotte was like, wait, try this. And so I leaned my head back and she was like, it looks so cool and then took the photo. And I think also at this point I was trying to impress my crush. And so I was like, I have to post a really cute picture, a really cool artsy photo. <laughs> this was a year ago, I'm very, I'm much cooler now. But um, yeah, so that is the story behind this photo. Oh, okay, well, this is me and my amazing mom. Um, I can't believe I forgot this photo that even existed. So I think we were going to a wedding and I had just gotten the wedding dress and the wedding dress, like the dress I was gonna wear to the wedding. And um, I was so excited. My mom was like, you just look so cute in my little bit. I'm standing there and I was really shy as a kid. So I like never really talked. And you can see in that photo, my little smile, I'm like. And I loved that dress more than anything. Oh, love this photo. So this is me and one of my best friends, Maddie, again. And it was Valentine's Day. And she had a Valentine, but I didn't. And I was like, Maddie, will you be my Valentine? And she was like, Lilia, I'm always going to be your Valentine. And so then we got these, like, matching teddy bears. And we had these matching pajamas. And I still have that teddy bear. And it was, like, the best. We, like, cuddled with them. We were like, we are the best Valentines to each other ever. And it was, we just looked so so funny in our like red outfits with our like giant teddy bears i was like if anyone does valentine's day it's us <laughs> um so this photo there's my <laughs> there's my big brother jack um and we were in new york i think at serendipity and they had these giant ice cream sundaes and i was like mom we have to get it and she was like well yeah and i was like we have to get it and so I love ice cream more than anything until I found out I was kind of lactose intolerant, but whatever, you kind of, you have to do it for ice cream. And it's just this giant sundae and I swear to God, I ate half of it. Like my tiny body at that point couldn't handle how much I ate. It was crazy, but it was amazing. And I would love to go back and eat another giant sundae. Oh, we love all these baby pictures. Um, This is my first headshot. I started auditioning when I was like nine and this was the first headshot I ever got taken. And I remember just being obsessed with the photo and being like, this doesn't even look like me. And my mom's like, uh, yeah, it does. I was like, oh my God. And so looking into the camera very dramatically. And that's where the nice little autumn sad stare came from. This, where she's like. <laughs> All right, I had so much fun explaining the stories behind my photos and I hope you guys enjoyed watching too. You can follow me on Instagram at Lilia. It's just L-I-L-I-A or you can follow me on Twitter at Buckingham Lilia. I love you guys so much.